Today I'm going to demonstrate my method for lacing internal nipples in uh, deep section rims. These are 86 millimeter track rim and we're using uh, internal hidden nipples and uh, it can be a little bit uh, trying <laughs> to say the least uh, to try to fit the nipples on the spokes so I'm going to uh, show you what I've come come up with that's um, made it a little bit easier for me uh, first off I designed and built this jig I'll show that in a little bit more detail later so getting uh, nipples started internal nipples that went from the inside started in a deep section rim like this uh, can be an exercise in frustration if you uh, <laughs> don't have some way of coping with it. Um, if you just put the spoke in the hole and go in with the wrench, you're basically fishing around blind. You know, you get it eventually, but okay. Well, see, there I got lucky. Alright, but it's. Uh, it usually doesn't happen quite that quick. So the method that I've come up with um, is uh, I've cut a piece off of a spoke, left the threaded end on it, and I'll show you how I use it as a guide. First of all, get the spoke laced into place carefully so that we don't mark up this expensive carbon rim. And then we'll guide the spoke through and put the nipple on. Put the wrench on the nipple, guide it into place, and hold it firmly while you lead the spoke in. Give it a few turns to start the nipple, and bada boom. I found that overall it's made the whole process quite a lot quicker than trying to fish around blind just getting the nipple started. Well, lacing uh, rims with internal nipples, I find is much easier done uh, on the horizontal rather than the way I normally do it with uh, standard nipples is I just hold the wheel and, uh, and lace it like that, insert the nipples. Uh, but uh, I was struggling with uh, inserting the internal nipples so I came up with this jig. And um, basically it's four supports. We've got uh, felt pads here so that the rim doesn't get marked up. And um, I've got uh, supports here, essentially uh, they're just uh, short legs that you get at Home Depot. And I set up three of them. One of them I drilled uh, to fit a, a front track hub and one slightly larger hole to fill a, a, um, fit the uh, axle of a rear track hub. And then another one that I uh, epoxied a, a QR skewer in there. And this one holds a QR axle. So it holds the, uh, the hub in place and uh, makes uh, lacing the spokes and inserting the nipples much easier. Real time saver. <laughs> 